So, I decided to do a something a little bit different today. We're going to be reacting to the last part of this interview on my expert opinion with Math Hoffer with Tech and Steel, aka uh, Smith and Wesson. Now, if you know, or if I ever said, recently I got into Smith and Wesson, like some some time ago, sometime this year ago. I discovered them through this because um, I I like Math Hoffa. He's one of the few battle rappers that I actually enjoy. I don't watch battle rap that much, but he's like one of those few that I'm just like, I like this guy. And Math Hoffa, his expert opinion videos, I sometimes watch depending on who the artist is. Sometimes I watch the interviews and I came across this one. And now I've already listened to their album, well, some of their album, it was called The, the Shining. That was like their debut record. I listened to Times in the Hood, Check, Wreck Time, Hallucination, and Stand Strong. I want to do the whole thing, but those are the only songs that I like shuffled and like came across. I'm like, these guys are good. And I came to this interview to like really see their whole vibe and like, you know, cause sometimes you need to hear someone like see how they talk, how they act to really like understand them more. And after this, my respect for them went up. So like, I kind of want to go on a Smith and Westwood, Smith and Weston journey. I don't know why I keep saying Westwood, but I kind of want to go on a journey with them. And I know that I already watched the whole interview. The whole thing was like two hours long. We're clearly not going to do that. But this I think was the highlight of the video. Math Alpha cut this part. It got crazy around here. I was just like, damn, bro. This is what happens when you talk about something that you have no information about or you, you misunderstood something. And then it leads to, to stuff like this. You'll see what I'm saying in a minute. So without further ado, let's get into this interview. It was the East and the West. <laughs> It was a good time. It's called, We Look to You as Traders. Things get heated. It was a bad time. Yeah. Oh, they made when it we went out now. there, we took a chance. Yeah. made it that. Right. They, that's what they, they try to explain it. Not this. even, not even. You're not, because you're they not. Know. Yo, Roro. Ro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. The homie said, could you squash it? But think about this. Could we squash it? But it was. Oh. Okay. Listen to the question. Could you squash it when you have a group of and they, I think they were talking about the whole West, East and West beef around like when Tupac and Biggie, you know, the the guy talking right now in the purple is um, Steel and the other guy in the black hoodie is Tech. Guys from Brooklyn going to the West Coast and it's nobody getting killed. I would say theoretically. We can squash it. It is squash. Our power, maybe we're not big enough to go between these two towers and go, guys. But we're showing and proving that it's not, as my, my coworker says, it's squashed. Right. Because we're not even thinking about it like Wait, that. Right. Mm. I got much respect for you, gentlemen. I got to chime in on this because none of these guys are Quite our age. Now this guy talking right now is Sean Bigger. I'm not too familiar with him. I mean, I've seen him around, but I'm guessing he's, he's just a hip hop head. He's like some, I don't know what he does for a living, but he, he's on all these podcasts or whatever, talking about hip hop for the most part. He's like one of those, one of those guys and him and Matt Hoffa are good friends. He, you know, he has him as a guest. Uh, now I'm not going to go into this thinking like I know what I'm talking about. I'm just, this is from the outside looking in. I'm just gonna judge it from my standpoint on what I feel about it. But if anyone would like to give me more information about it, please do. Cause I'm not a Tupac fan. I don't know his music like that. I don't care for his music. But what I can say, like he was one of the greatest. Based on what I've heard, he's one of the greatest. I was a couple years older than speak upon it. Speak upon it. I'm right under y'all, and I gotta speak on it. There will be a lot of pausing. For me and my comrades, and me and guys like me, 
And I'm older now, and I see it totally different. But you dudes was traitors. You know what I'm saying? And I... Fuck out of here. What are you talking about? Nah, you talking about the explorers. You talking about the... You talking about, talk about, talk about, talk about, about going state. through the lands and bartering and... Nah, At that, that time, one. me and my comrades that was right up under you, that was listening to Smith or what, and that was ran the Timberland booth, that was representing New York, whether you want to hear it or not and accept it, it's I'm listening, you. good. We felt attacked by Pop. We felt that he attacked New York. We we felt, me and real dudes out here on the street, that was really involved. We didn't have the rap albums or deals that y'all had at the time. Much respect that y'all got that. But it was still real dudes out here that didn't get that. And we looked up to y'all. And we didn't understand that part. Yeah. So yeah, that's the only thing I'm saying. Now, as for, an older all right, person, so let, 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 me, let, let, let me let me finish. As an older person, I can dig and I can understand what y'all think. I'm just telling you as a younger man. At that time, I think I was 17, 18. Right. So I'm thinking, I'm guessing what he's saying, like... There was a time where this beef between, you know, the West, East and West, and Sean Biggers from the, the East side, which which New York, Brooklyn, and all that stuff. He's saying, and because Tech and Steel are from Brooklyn as well, New York. I'm from New York as well, but I, I don't care for Brooklyn. I don't like those parts of my, my state. Um, but basically... He's saying that he felt that they were traitors because they were around Pac. I think that's what he's saying. Because they were around Pac. But he's saying when they got their deals and everything, I think he's like saying that's when they started to change or that's when they like pretty much left where they were originally from or like left. And he, he looked to them as traitors, him and his comrades. Because of something that Pac said, which we'll get to in a moment. He's saying as a younger him, he didn't understand it. But him older, he now understands. And that's all he's saying. Which he could have left it at that. And then Tech and Steel could have then explained why it happened. To like get him out of this confusion and like why, you know, like help him understand more. Until he said this right here. Right, 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 right. So let me let, let, let me explain it. Just said, kill New York children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck New York, baby. How you getting here? Let me explain it. Let me. No, I'm sorry. I tried not to laugh. I tried, but the reason is so funny is because this this is what starts this is what starts drama and problems over and over again. <laughs> now, why this is an issue? People who don't listen to Pac, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just how he jumped onto it. It's like at first he was like, as a young dude, I I didn't understand. Now as an older dude, I understand. Now it's. Kill New York children. What? First of all, Tupac never said that. All right. I know they they pretty much explain it because like I said, I've already seen this, but I just wanted to bring it to YouTube. But he said Pac never said that. Why is this a problem? You can't. If you're going to quote somebody saying something, you have to quote exactly what they said. You can't summarize it. You can't, long story short, you can't do that. It has to be exactly what they said because Pac never said that. Now, I'm sure he's referencing um, the lyrics on Hit Him Up. And so what he's referencing, he said, uh, he said Pac said, kill New York babies, but that's not what he said. He said, my 44 will make sure all your kids don't grow. All your kids don't grow. That's what he said. And this dude, Sean Vega, said, kill New York children. Does that sound the same? Because he was talking specifically to certain people. 
We'll get to that though. Explain it. Let me explain. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not co-signing that because I never heard that. See, this is anybody else over here. This is why. This is anybody else. I never heard that. Anybody else? Hold on. Yo, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta wipe that. We gotta wipe that. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta wipe that. We gotta wipe that. What? We gotta wipe that. I said what? We gotta wipe that. Hold on. He said what? He said what? Fox said what? Fox said I hope your babies die. Thank you. Thank you. He said that to who? He said New York though. He said New York. He said New York. He said New York. He said New York. Y'all can play this game. Oh, this is all I told you. Yeah. But I'm a real age. They might not know. Right. Because they might be. I never heard Pac say no. Now look. I, I can see why he would think that Pac would be talking to all of New York because I read those lyrics and it did seem like he was attacking New York specifically. But when he started name dropping Biggie, Mob Deep, and I think he said Ch Chino X, whoever else, anyone from New York, he was talking to them. He never said to all of New York. Sure, you never heard Pop said it, but he said it, and the man just here. That's my. Now I know I said my phone phone. Make sure all your kids don't go. But he's talking to his enemies, right? He's not talking to whole New York. He's not saying kill New York babies. Kill New York babies. That's what y'all saying. Kill New York babies. I'm telling you, bigger you are, bro. You are. He said. Bro, New York, you played it. No, 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 you, know you can't what? do that, bro. First of all, you can't do that. that. I didn't say he said kill New York baby. That's, That's what you did. Just said. That's what you did. That's what you just said. That's what you said, That's bro. What you just said. This is the issues, bro. This is the issues right here. If you're explaining this to someone who never listened to Tupac, right? Or who even respected Tupac. If you said this to them, they're going to be like, what? Tupac said that? Now it's going to create more problems. And it's like, that's how he felt about the East Side. That's how he felt about New York. Now the whole drama thing with the whole East and West Coast, which I think is pretty stupid, but the whole back and forth with them, it can now go back up just because of stuff like this. Because not only did you misunderstand the lyrics, you misquoted them and you still don't even know what you're talking about. And then you forgot what you just said a minute ago. That must be so frustrating to to remind to be in a heated debate and you gotta remind something to remind remind someone of something they just said literally a minute ago and they deny that they ever said that. That's that's really frustrating to go through. Babies, you can't do that. You, know you can't do that, bro. First of all, you can't do that. Said that. I didn't say he said kill New York baby. That's, 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 that's what you just said. That's what you did. That's what you just said. That's what you said, that's bro. You, he said kill New York children. Fuck New York babies. That's what he, he literally said that. Now, look what he said. Just said. We can, we, we can stop and rewind and tell you right now. No, no, no. Now he said, first of all, I said he said kill babies. That's what he just said. If you if you saw his lips, I'm going to rewind it. But look at his lips. I didn't say he said kill New York babies. That's what you just said. That's what you did. That's what you just said. That's what you said, bro. You just said. We can, we can stop and rewind and tell you right now. No, no. He said kill babies. That's what he just said, which is not true. He literally said kill New York children, fuck New York babies. The exact words. Uh, nah, you said well, kill New York babies. You to New York. said, well, stop. Let you me said kill question. New York babies. Well, stop. Let me answer, answer my question. question. How you gonna answer yourself? <laughs> I never said that. Don't you just said 
said that. You just said it. You just said that. We all could agree to what you just said. Hold on. Nah, he said. He said. You said. You said. Kill New York. Something like that. I want to tell that. I want to tell that. Bigger. And remind him. He said New York. What he said. He was in the. How do you know what the fuck are you referring to? Exactly. New York. If you don't, look, I don't What's know. What's on? What's on? But you I said it. it. And then this is also what they do. When they're cornered and they know that their shit's falling in front of them, bro, they, they just back up out of it. The dude was like, if you don't, look, I don't want to waste my time with this. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You brought it up. In the, in the How do you know what the fuck that. are you referring to? New York. If you don't, Look, I don't know. What song? What you said it. You brought it in. What you talking about? What song? You said you knew your Play it, play it, play it, play it. What song is it? Play it. Let's hit him up, right? Play it. 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 It's a lot of my other comrades that felt that way. And you know, so whether I heard it wrong or not, you're missing the point. No, the the point. point. So, yeah, so you and your comrades is missing the point. It's not the point. Not the joke. Kill me for a day. Hold up. Say the record. All right, so get to the point. You're trying to say, you're trying to say. This gentleman said a lot of Brooklyn people felt that Second Wesley was traitors. Let's address that. Let's stop being antagonists. I don't give a fuck about that line. But I'm going to tell you what I felt. I went out there to wreck my hood. I went out there because I'm the only nigga with enough balls to go out there because I don't got no hate for Pop or for Biggie. So we the only niggas that could do what Smith, what we call special teams. That's what we call ourselves. In the middle Part of, of self, nigga, East and West. Give me a, give me, give me a, talk give, me, talk. give me my yeah, shit, yo. Yeah. I'm not cutting niggas off. This, this is my pet peeve. I hate when niggas cut me off. But I've been watching this shit all night long. Right? But I, I respect what you're saying. And I and I know that's what they think of us. But if we don't go out there and have that goddamn Nat Turner with the black burner spirit, then we're going to be cowards. Because I don't take no sides. I don't feel you right. I don't feel you right. I ain't making no money from your fucking fool, nigga. So my thing is this. Me and my PNC, we going out there to see what I want. And, and, and we went out there with our team, and we sat there. We broke bread with that man. So what you said, what it was like, it was like sitting with my brother. These niggas was eating turkey, bacon, and eggs, and, and goddamn waffles. Cooked by a buckshot brother. You understand? We ain't had no chef. The bitch left two eggs after. We I also read that they were with around buckshot as well. You said, what it was like, it was like sitting with my brother. These niggas was eating turkey, bacon, and eggs, and, and goddamn waffles. Cooked by a buckshot brother. You understand? We ain't had no chef. The bitch left two days after. We were sitting there like us sitting here. Right. That's how I felt. If I ever got a chance to sit with my brother, I wouldn't want to sit with my brother before I kill my brother. And if I sit in my head and go, Smith and Wesson the traitor, and you a liar, and you come to my door and I blow your fucking head off, what kind of conversation we want to have? We all want to have a retaliatory environment. We are slaves to our own fucking slavery. These motherfuckers did a great job on us. Mm. Well, if we can have a situation we go, no, brother, it ain't even like that, Holmes. It ain't even like that, because I can tell you what Pop was saying when we were sitting in that living room, trying to get the fucking laser disc to play. He ain't even gonna play the laser disc. We like, nigga, we can't play the laser disc, which means what? We ain't got the iPhones, but we can't get on our phone. We can't watch it. Instagram, we can't do nothing. So what we gotta do? Talk. What are we talking about? Huh? We have a church. I miss that part. I miss what niggas ain't had nothing to do. Now, did you understand? Call yourself. I ain't cut your wisdom. I'm gonna tell you what it was like. I didn't mean to cut your wisdom. I'm gonna tell you what it was like sitting with Pop. I met his mother, I met his auntie, I met his cousin. I was, wasn't even around. And I don't know if he did that on purpose. Because mm. when boot camp was there, it was times when this nigga would leave and we would go and we would go, yo, what we doing, boot camp? Mm. We would start cooking. And then Pop would walk through the door and, we, and, and, and Thor would be in the kitchen. Kick, cooking a whole pack of bacon, bacon, cooking a whole box of things, cooking all the eggs, and we'd be on the floor hitting it, hitting it. And mm. Pop walk in like this. I'm capping. Pop walk in like, oh shit, this is what y'all doing? Drop, boom, in the white suit. That's how Pop was. That's what I'm saying. I don't know this nigga. It was you know, love. Not a, I we don't loyalty or none of that shit, but we going, yo, we the same motherfucker. Oh, yeah.
understand what I'm saying to you? We just got a bad deal. And then because of this capitalism, we going at each other's throat, like pop. It's just like us. And it's like, damn, I walk, I walk, I walk down Pacific, um, uh, when I was on Utica Avenue, and I heard niggas going, yo, man, good for that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, I want to spit on these niggas. But I'm like, I understand why they said that. He's like, he keep running his mouth. But imagine if all of us be pacified black men. I don't think any one of us deserve to be murdered for our words. I don't think Kanye needs to be a slave for his words, but at the same time, it's accountability, right? Pop should live, he should live past 25. They should live past 25. Malcolm should live past 41. Martin should live past 41. Did you understand earlier when I said that we haven't heard y'all spoke? I understood that. Hold on. Let's get a round of applause for Steele doing that, though. But out of all that talking, look at how big a even still response to this shit, bro. 25. They should live past 25. Michael should live past 41. Martin should live past 41. Did you understand earlier when I said that we haven't heard y'all spoke? I understood that. So did you understand? That's why I'm coming to get my hug right now. Do you understand right now? Bring it in, nigga. Bring it in. Do you understand how important that means? Do you understand that you're still a soldier out here in the street that didn't understand? There was no social media right there. Do you understand that? 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 Do Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I ain't a real New York dude. I can't wait to move. Okay, fuck what everybody else heard. Yes, you know what was said on there, and you know how that could have been associated to real New York hey, niggas. I know. So I know. fuck what everybody else saying. This is why I mean. You know good and well when he said those babies that that was associated to those that was listening to New York people. Nah, so I, the only I, thing I can't go sign that. You I, can't go sign that. I feel you. You didn't, didn't hear it. I didn't hear but, it. But. What they asked was, when you was with them, to bring peace. Didn't he just say, minutes ago though, that he never said New York babies? He said just babies? Now it's back to New York babies? This dude can't even keep up with himself. I, w I can't blame him though, he's in his mid 40s. At this time, he was in his mid 40s. And around that age, that's when your brain, the memory, starts doing backflips. To New York people. Nah, so I, the only I, thing. I can't go sign that. You can't go sign that. I feel that. You didn't, didn't hear it. I didn't hear but it. But what they asked was when you was with them to bring peace. That's so a how fact. How did you bring peace? So, so mind you, so only you point that I make. What, what, only point that I make. So when I'm with. When I'm no, with we my spilling my the block. We spilling the block. Wait, when I'm with my brothers, which we are brothers, and we are protect our brothers, and we teach our brothers. If you in the wrong, Fuck you. I don't give a fuck about your celebrity or nothing. I'm going to let you know you in the wrong. You can tell me to fuck off after that or whatever, and that'll be all good. But fuck you and your celebrity if you're wrong. And the only thing point I'm making, I didn't have the opportunity to get around. I, I believe that was a good brother. I believe that was a righteous brother. Don't get it twisted. But do I believe he should have been bought his check? Absolutely. You don't ever fucking make a whole nother coach that you was born at in Harlem Hospital. But that was born in Harlem he Hospital. He didn't I mean, do that. That last little bit was cringe. I'm not even gonna lie. That last, like, like I get what I understood what he was trying to say, but that last little bit was so cringe. It was like, did you expect me to be like, preach, brother? Bro, look at Tech. He look like he's ready to stomp on this nigga's head, bro. He didn't do that, bigger. He didn't do that, bigger. That's your bigger. And why is bigger built like a cheeseburger? I mean, like, do you see his stomach? It's like so. I don't know. I can fat shame because I used to be a fat person, so I don't care. Another coach that you was born at in Harlem Hospital. 
But that was he, 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 he didn't do that. He didn't do that, big girl. He didn't do that, big bigger. Bigger, he didn't do that. Bigger, he didn't do that. Bigger, he didn't do that. I'm gonna get out of jail. The media sold that, bro. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get out of jail. The media sold that. That's what you said. The media sold that. That's the truth. I'm gonna get out of jail. That's the truth. Hold on. I'm gonna get out of jail. And he's expressed that's a fact. Like. He literally just told you what it was like to be around Pac, and yet you, your stomach ass still thinks this is this is the frustrating part, bro. I gotta end this video quick. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm talking about none of that shit. <laughs> don't do that shit with my brother. Fuck all that shit. Ain't near one of them here. You yeah. talk what you talk and you believe, don't do that shit. Don't do what? What you just did, what man. Did I just do? That's wrong. To, for you to act like that, act when like I'm what? telling you we around a nigga, act and like you, what? for what you just reacted to, for How what you I just, just heard, for a. a, a How ain't I nobody in this room no. heard no New How York baby react? type shit. The man just right there told you. The did. man said he ain't hear right New York right. baby. He the said baby. The man just said that he did. What's the blog? What's the blog? You pulled up the blog. Look at Chip. 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 You pulled up the blog. Look at He was talking specifically to certain people. That's why I don't like talking about this shit. When you talk about us, me, that's me and my fucking brother. We was there. You wasn't fucking there. I held guns on our fucking waist. The whole pop down. Big pick me up every fucking day. I don't give a fuck what you feel. How old you are, what niggas you raised with. I don't give a fuck how big you are. Right Man, family, all, all that shit. You shit. You all that shit. You talk about it. You talk about it. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. You got to do something. Hold on, hold on. Because, listen. I, I get what um I get what Tech was trying to say, you know. I understand when you're mad, you say things. It, it happens, but he was out of line for that. I'm not even gonna lie. He was way out of line for that line right there. He, I think he said like, he said I don't give a fuck what you feel, how old you is, and I, it sounded like he said what niggas you raised, because I think Big, Sean Bigger he's a dad. He's he's a father. He has a son, I believe. But like that was that was like that was a low blow. I get that you're frustrated and pissed off, but you didn't have to go that. Bring the man's family into that, and then call his his kids niggas. And like like come on, bro. That was low. That was low. They're both in the wrong, but like he didn't have to go that far. Me up every fucking day. I don't give a fuck what you feel. How old you are, what niggas you raised with, I don't give a fuck yeah. how family, big you are. Right Red family, family, all that bullshit you say. All that shit you talk about. Yo, 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 yo. That shit you do with it. You want to do with it. You want to do with it. You be a disrespect. You be a disrespect. I was there, nigga. I was there, nigga. I was fucking there, nigga. I was fucking there, nigga. I was there, no. I was there. I ain't like watch your mouth. I was there. I don't give a fuck about that. Me either, nigga. Me either. We want that man. I don't give a fuck about that. I was there, nigga. He can't tell me shit. No, but just listen. We need this, though. We need this information, dog. He can't tell me shit. Trust me, Lee. You take it in person. Just listen. I was there. Yo, we shut it down. We shut it down. We shut it down. Okay, so this is what happened afterwards, just in case you might think, do are they still beefing or whatever? Is it still heated? So this is a video of them pretty much squashing it. You know, in my expert opinion, it's about unity. It's about us being able to have a conversation. It's about us being able to communicate with each other without the friction, without the drama. You know what I'm saying? These are two passionate brothers, and what we witnessed tonight was just a raw emotion. 
the love that both these both these guys got for the culture and 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 the love that he has for his brother. You dig what I'm saying? I want y'all. I just I just want y'all y'all to see that it ain't no drama, it ain't no issue, it ain't none of that. And I want y'all to see me, brother. It was a misunderstanding. I grew up off of Smith and Wesson. I respect Miss Smith and Wesson. Yeah, I was like, you know, part of my, you know, rotation. I was telling you from a 17 year old point of mind, not a 46 year old point of mind. I was telling you at 17, that's how we felt in the kid mind. It was a misunderstanding. I got much respect for Smith and Weston. I got much respect for you, bro. Appreciate and it, we, we got to I apologize if I took it wrong in that manner. And we all men that we can do what we do right here, right now. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Power! Power! You're done, no. Power! Not for the kid. Power! Not for the done, no. For sure. I always will remember you. All the time. Yes. All the time. Just like that. Crazy. I'm glad they did that though at the end. When I saw that, I was like, damn, now the original video won't hit the same way. Only because they, they squashed it and they're better with each other now. But yeah, this was pretty much the first interview that like got me introduced to Smith & Wesson. You know, give me a, you know, more of a glimpse of their character and everything. And that last moment was like, oh yeah, these niggas really don't play that shit. So, like I said, Sean Bega, he was out of line for that. He should have also kept up with what he was saying. But this is just from me, my standpoint. I'm not gonna make it seem like I was there or I know what I'm talking about, but I'm just saying you can't tell somebody what it was like or how it actually was when those people were around the dude. You can't tell them nothing. If you weren't around, you weren't there, you can't say nothing to them. Especially when they're telling you and giving you more information that you never knew and you're still going with this Oh no, this is actually how it was. Even though he said like he was just talking from a 17 year old point of mind, not a 46 year old point of mind. He could have he said that but the way he carried it made it seem like he still thought the same thing. He was like, even when Math Hoffa said he was talking to people specifically in New York, he was like, that's what you say, that's what y'all say. I'm like, so which one is it? Do you believe it or do you not believe it? But it is what it is. I, my point of this video is I, I have some respect for Tech and Steel. I wanna get more into their music. Secondly, just be careful with what you're talking about, who you're talking about it with, what you say. Make sure you know your shit before you get into it because it could lead to situations like this. I'm glad that they were men and they squashed it, but this could have went so far downhill. It could have went even worse. Just be careful. Just be careful. Even when I say things or have opinions of mine for a certain music that I review or react to and you guys don't like it and you trash me in the comments, whatever, I never come across as if I know what I'm talking about. I never come across as like, oh, I know better than you. This is just from my standpoint, from what I'm listening to, what I'm witnessing, how I feel about it, not what I know or the background of it. I can care less about that. It doesn't make up for a good song or a replayable song or a replayable album or a good artist, good rapper. I don't care. At the end of the day, it's just what you give with the music. That's it. I'm not trying to be like Fantano, so please don't compare me to him. But I'm just saying, it's nothing but review at the end of the day. It's all subjective. It is what it is. But let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below. What other Tech and Steel songs did you want me to react to? Did y'all want? Do you want me to call them Tech and Steel or Smith and Wesson? Uh, I'll call them whatever I want. Anyway, like, I'm subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Close the curtains.